and welcome to DT Briefly for Wednesday, February 5th, 2014. I'm Lauren Poppy, a photojournalist for the Daily Toreador. Here are today's headlines. Students at the Walgates Residence Hall spent their Monday evening outside in freezing temperatures while sprinklers flooded parts of the second and first floors. Chris Cook, Managing Director at the Office of Communications and Marketing, said in an email that a student allegedly hung a hanger and a shirt on a fire sprinkler, which caused the sprinkler system to activate when he tried to pull the items off. Other sprinklers in the hallway were then activated, he said, as well as a fire alarm in both the Wall and Gates residence halls, and residents were evacuated from both halls. Captain Stephen Hinkle with the Texas Tech Police Department said the Tech Police Department responded to the fire alarm initially and stayed at the Gates residence hall to help with the situation. He said much of the second floor of Gates was flooded. A student who was involved in a car accident on Saturday is at the University Medical Center in stable but critical condition. She has two broken vertebrae in her neck and internal injuries, according to her stepmother. Texas Tech Student Government Association elections are fast approaching. Campaigning for the upcoming election officially began on February 1st. Executive candidates will host a forum from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in the Matador Room in the Student Union Building February 24th, and elections will be February 26th through February 27th, according to the SGA schedule. Students will be able to submit their votes at different polling locations across campus or online at the SGA website. Texas Tech's riding and polo club's JV men's team competed on Saturday against Midland Lee High School's teams during the polo club's rush event. Despite cold temperatures and high wind speeds, Clyde Waddell, the club's coach and advisor, said the event was a success. Softball player Taylor Powell has been named the Red Raider Club's Scholar Athlete for the month of February. Along with her career 288 average with six home runs, Powell has also racked up a cumulative 4.0 GPA. The Texas Tech women's basketball team will look to end its 11-game losing streak during its game against Texas at 7 p.m. tonight in Austin. To read the full stories, pick up a copy of the Daily Toreador or go to dailytoreador.com. For DT Briefly, I'm Lauren Poppy.